Hello everyone and welcome to my first F1 2015 video. Uh, what you're going to be seeing here is my first laps in uh, time trial and my first race uh, as well. So uh, we're going to start time trial here in the Mercedes uh, at Silverstone and uh, you can see <laughs> struggling with the handling system already locking up into the final chicane running wide and uh, yeah worth mentioning that I'm running without uh, anti-lock brakes. Uh, traction control is on. Uh, it's on full because um, I feared I wouldn't be able to handle the masses amounts of torque that these uh, cars produce these days. Uh, never had any practice with F1 2014 because I never bought it uh, because I didn't think it was worthy of my money. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm uh, still struggling with the uh, uh, with the brakes there and uh, yeah, just uh, trying to pick up a bit of confidence. It's my first lap within the game as we head down to Wellington. Uh, straight now getting used to these gearboxes as well eight speed uh, gearboxes with the torque as well it makes corners like uh, uh, Luffield a little bit difficult for me because I naturally want to go into second gear and then there's a little part of my head telling me no stay in third um, we'll skip ahead uh, a few laps now you can see I'm gaining a little bit more confidence uh, managing to get through Abbey and Farm pretty smoothly little lock up into into village and, uh, and the loop as well, but uh, still managing to make the apexes. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna skip ahead now to uh, my first race at Malaysia uh, as Valtteri Bottas got the AI set to uh, hard as we've got five lights, and uh, away we go. Getting through the uh, gears pretty quickly here yeah, with just the amount of torque and uh, the short gears that they run these days in the slipstream of my teammate Felipe Massa. We're going to go three wide into turn one. Bit uh, hot on the brakes there. If we've got the inside, little tap with uh, Felipe there. We've got the inside for one. Uh, Vettel's got that line into two, but we're going to carry on around the outside and it's paid off for us. Uh, banging on the limiter in the exit there, uh, but we have emerged in third place ahead of Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari, and that's worked out pretty well for us. Um, so yeah, what I was saying was that um, I've got the AI set on uh, hard, run a little bit wide into four, uh, which is sort of like the third one down uh, from the top. So you got hard expert and then legend. So uh, yeah, I, I did feel that this probably wasn't the best AI setting for me once I got into the race, uh, as we run a little bit right into seven. Uh, uh, worth mentioning, this is my first lap of Malaysia as well. Didn't do any practice laps. Uh, but yeah, I did notice that um, I probably could have uh, done this race on expert uh, difficulty because uh, you can see I'm sort of keeping up with the two Mercedes cars that get <laughs> very wrong into uh, turn uh, turn 11 there. And yeah, you you will also be seeing some uh, legend AI difficulty uh, races in in the near future. It didn't take me long to kind of build up the confidence to get the difficulty that we've got Vettel. Uh, coming up the inside of us there into um, turn 14 uh, we've got the, the braking completely wrong in there and uh, yeah I mean backing out of that one of the apex which I'm su sure uh, harder level AI uh, would not have would not have done but they're sort of a little bit cautious at this level uh, which is why I feel like I could have beefed it up a little bit but as I was it didn't take me long to uh, uh, get enough confidence to build up the AI um, I think it was probably on my fifth race and then I put it on legend don't know if that's really sort of a testament to how slow the AI AIR perhaps um, and the only time will tell to be honest but um, yeah as you can see we sort of skipped ahead to uh, lap 3 where things get a little bit more interesting got a nice gap to uh, Vettel and fourth there and we're actually closing in Nico Rosberg uh, ahead of us as we carry a little bit more speed than him uh, through 7 and 8 right on his gearbox uh, now as we head down uh, the hill to the lowest point on the track heavy braking zone, a little twitch uh, on the rear there not quite close enough to have an overtake, really got to watch the rear as you head up the hill here and oh, <laughs> he went into the back of him uh, there almost had to take avoiding action uh, but you can see he's built up a little bit of an advantage but I've thrown it really deep into the braking zone here, give him a little tap, that was probably a bit unfair I can tell you that certainly was not a uh, yeah, intentional as we get the DRS now we just pull away from the Mercedes and uh, yeah that's uh, second place uh, for us going into the final corner now oh, locking up my brakes a little bit running a bit wide Rosberg not quite close enough to mount an attack us on the run to the line now though and that's uh, second place in my first race which is uh, absolutely fantastic uh, so yeah as I say you will be seeing some uh, 
harder AI uh, difficulty races in the near future. Uh, some online races as well, I know there have been a few complaints about that, but we'll get onto that in future videos. And uh, yeah, until then, thanks very much for watching and bye bye. Mercedes have won today's race, and what a result for the team. Nicky Lauda rightly called it as one of the drives of the season.